me this guy out. Yeah! I got it! We done got ourselves a cow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It's fantastic to have you here because today we're embarking on my first ever, 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 ever leather, ever leather, 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 leather. We're embarking on my first ever leather, bah. We are embarking on our first, oh my goodness, this is a tongue twister. We are embarking on my first ever solo leather working project. My wallet is worn out. I sewed this out of denim years ago and it's seen better days. In order to keep my money right, I am going to be making myself a wallet. But for you guys to keep your money right, I hope that you go ahead and click the link in the description below because we have Honey sponsoring us today. What is Honey? It's basically free money. It's a free browser extension. It takes a couple clicks. Joinhoney.com forward slash Alec. You add it up there to the top corner of your browser and then automatically when you're in checkout, whether it is that you're buying a pizza from Papa John's, whether you're booking a hotel with Marriott or you're wanting to go somewhere with Expedia, Honey is going to be scanning and making sure that you get the best coupon code. It's completely free, takes a couple clicks. Go to joinhoney.com forward slash Alec to get that extension set up. Thank you, Honey, for sponsoring the video and saving you all some money. Thank you guys for being here. Time for us to get cracking and try doing some leather work. Oh, by the way, of course, that's actually not how the leather got here. I didn't rope it. This is how it got not here. Hey, watch it. I'm warning you. There we go. Stay sensible. So we are all leather supplied up. We got all sorts of fun tools. Even got ourselves a little Union Jack stamp. How cool is that? Now here is the leather that I ordered. So this stuff is seven to nine ounce, which is super heavy. It's like four and a half millimeters thick. But thankfully, when Bentley Leathercraft visited, Thank you, James, for the instruction of teaching me how to make a sheath. He left me plenty of offcuts. This is one and a half mil thick. I believe it's veg tan. So we've got all the leather we need. Now what we need to do is work out the design. And I am quite fond of this design. I made this leather several, several years ago out of denim material. And I really like it. Folds over, nice and slim. Keep my cards in one side. Keep my money folded up in the other side. And I also have a truck key sewed in there so that I never lock myself out of my truck. Smart thinking. So we are going to work on a design. There we go. So 115 millimeters tall, that's four and a half inches. By 160 millimeters wide, that's about six and a half inches. Two different pockets, as you can see. Time to take the paper, switch it out with the leather. Now I've got it all cut out, and let me just tell you, even just cutting it out is just so relaxing. It's great. I love it. I love this level work. So I need to think of the order of operations, because I could easily make a mistake and then end up regretting it later on. And these are the fine minutiae, the details that are obviously difficult to sink in the first time you do things. Obviously, James Bentley Leathercraft, who gave me that tutorial last week, that was an incredible help. But you forget things, it doesn't sink in. And so now I've got to try and reason my way through it. So let's try and work it out. What I know that needs to get done is I need to dye the leather at some point and I need to dye the leather at a stage that means that I don't have to do a whole lot more to the surfaces of the leather so that we don't damage the nice finish that we apply. So the dye is not the next step. We are going to need to form the leather. It's going to need to be folded, but I think that we can do that at the same time that we form the pocket for the cards. I think that we can do that last without any issue. I do want to stamp my touch mark in it as well as our little Union Jack. So I know that definitely needs to get done before we dye it. And by default, 
before we form it. If I think back to when we made the sheath, this fine beauty with the help of Bentley Leathercraft, we did the stitching once it was already dyed. I think I'm starting to work this out. This now needs to get done in the order of one, stamp it. Touch mark, Union Jack. Two, dye it. Wait, I need to edge bevel it. Damn it, so much for that. Right, what do I need to do? Okay, I've got it. Stamp it, edge bevel it, dye it. Contact cement, no. Stamp it, edge bevel it, dye it. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is an edge beveler. Pretty cool tool. And so, how awesome is that tool? What a satisfying craft leather work is. It is time to dye it. I've got some water-based dye. A little spun. Oh, and I spilt it already. A little sponge. Oh man, that was silly. And we'll get to it. Let's start with the inside. Ah, too much. <laughs> what a noob. I bet it's his first time working leather. Nope. Second. That's way too much. Oh no, what have I done? Oh no. I have made quite the mess there. So while that large piece is still drying after I spilled about half a cup of dye on it, I think that we can actually start punching out the holes in this that we will then transfer over to the other piece for our stitching. Ah! I mean, oh whoops, I went off course. Normal human responses, Alec. Right, so I am using these calipers as a little scratch so that we can uh, follow along it with, we, with, we, ba, 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 with our Punch. It seems to be working fine. It's not a proper leather working tool, but it seems to do the job. I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but I'm going to take an awl into my corners, because my corners are going to be critical. I'm going to poke a hole in there. Do the same on the other piece. Another hole, another hole. So now, we're going to take this. What is this called, Alec? You might be wondering. I actually have no idea. Thankfully, James from Bentley Leathercraft sent me a, uh, a wish list for a leather place, so I just bought what was on the wish list. But it's a thing with prongs and it punches holes. So aside from me smacking my finger with the hammer a little bit earlier, it went rather well. Um, we've got the corners mostly done. I kind of decided, I don't really know what I decided. I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, they're punched out. Now what we've got to do is we have to transfer this through onto the back of our wallet. I made sure it's the right way up. We'll line it up. And then now I'm suddenly going to magically get leatherworking skills and I'm going to know what to do. Ah, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn this over. We're going to scratch it the same width. Oh, that's the idea. Woo! Then we're gonna punch it with a wrapper. Tap, tap. We've got some holes in it. Ugly, ugly. So now, I believe it's time for us to take some contact cement, cement this bad boy up, and then we can start stitching. So, gently apply it along the stitch holes. We'll apply it on this side here. A little bit over here. I'm now going to take some needles, poke them in. Then I'm going to line those needles up with the corresponding holes. We'll slide it down and hopefully it's all nicely lined up. Good. So I'm pleased that this has happened. We have a good bit of sag in here, which is just what we want so that all that cash can slip in and out. We're going to stretch it out a little bit and I think that that'll help us, but that's good. It's contact cemented in. Now it is the difficult part. 
It's the part that's gonna suck. It's the part where I'm definitely gonna stab myself with a needle. It's now time to stitch this one side. I'm gonna use this. This is some waxed stitching stuff for stitching. And we'll also be using one of these needles, of course. It's a rough little guesstimate. I think we need about 24 inches of material and sod's law being sod. We'll take about 25. Dolly gee whiz, that doesn't look like it's gonna be enough. You know what, since this is my first time doing it, we're gonna take more. We'll take 29. Now we've just got to thread. Oh, 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 ah. Uh. My dentist doesn't see this. Pull this through. Then the trick, as taught from James Bentley himself, Bentley Leathercraft, poke it through. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Poke it through. Pull it out. Stitch it. There we go. All right, so we can take our stitching pony, drop that in there, and we will get stitching. Now, which one do I do first? Okay, I think it's this one. <laughs> we just made a stitch. Right, let's time lapse it. Well, good old Murphy, at it again. Run out of cord, there's no way I'm gonna make it all the way there. So, cut that, cut that. Thread this needle, thread this needle. I'm gonna start back here. I done did diddly done done. Stitched it, it is stitched. This is where I started again. I really wish I had had enough. This is where I ended. Wow, here, nice and consistent. It starts to go a little less consistent here on this side right there. It just doesn't, doesn't look quite as good, but I'm still very proud to have done it anyway. I'm pleased that we've got a gap in there. It means that that money will still sit in there nice and tight. It's not gonna fall out. And so now we're gonna work on the card pocket. We're gonna sew one side and then I'm gonna put the cards in it as we sew the rest. Hopefully we get this sorted. So back to the contact cement and then some more stitching. getting a lot faster and better with the stitching. I am now coming up to my last little straight, the last straight. We're getting faster. Right, let me explain what it is I'm doing. So I've got the cord coming through. I take the right hand needle, I poke it in the next hole. It comes out the second side. Again, I'm a complete noob. Check out Bentley Leathercraft, he knows what he's doing. Then I come here with the left hand, pull it, oh, all the way through. Come in with the left hand needle, go behind that cord that I just put through it, push that needle through, pull the cord over that needle, and then drag it on through, tighten it up. That's what I'm doing, is it right? I hope so. I think so. Either way, I'm slowly but surely getting better. And there we go. I went all the way back, a little bit forwards. I think we are ready to cut off our cord. Ba-boom. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my goodness. Not finished yet. What we now have to do is we have to dampen it and we're gonna do the final form to it. Right, so this is veg tan, not chrome tan, which as far as I understand is extremely important for what it is that we wanna do. So I'm gonna take some money the way I like to fold it, wrap it up in some cling film. I know it's waterproof, but it just feels a little risky. Shove it in, oh, key, where'd I put it? Oh, the key's already in there. Form it around the key a little bit. Shove the money in there. Then I'm gonna shove my cards in there too. There we go. 
Look at that. All that's left to do, fold it over, crease the mid seam, and that, ladies and gentlemen, once it is dried out, is my completed wallet. The work is unbelievably satisfying, unbelievably enjoyable work. What a great little peaceful hobby. Version two of my favorite wallet is complete. I'm interested to see how this design evolves over time as I use it. And I am very pleased that I am taking care of my money in such a nice wallet after such a fun project. I hope that you can take care of your money with Honey. There is no faster way to make a buck than to save a buck. And I assure you that that is absolutely the case with Honey. There is a link in the description below, joinhoney.com forward slash Alec. All you have to do to start saving today from your favorite retailers is click that link, add Honey as a browser extension. It'll sit up there. There's nothing you have to worry about. It's completely free to use. It sits up there and when you're in checkout, it's going to automatically scan for whatever coupon codes are available and it's going to let you know so that you can start saving money immediately. While I've described how to use Honey, you could have set it up and that small investment of 20 seconds of time clicking that link completely free can save you a bunch of money. 20 seconds right now clicking that link, you're going to be able to save a bunch of money. Whether you're getting books from Barnes and Nobles, a mattress from Casper, new domain for a website from GoDaddy, hotel room from Marriott's, pizza from Papa John's, protein from MyProtein, or educated from Skillshare. Join honey.com forward slash Alec. Hit that link. Add Honey as a browser extension today. It's the tiniest investment of time to save you a bunch of money. Thank you very much, Honey, for sponsoring this episode and saving us all some money. Thank you guys for watching. I'd love to hear what it is that you want me to make next from leather because I like this material and I want to use it again. Thanks, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.